Hey everyone, I'm building screen pipe, which is cursor plus rewind. So it allows you to see what you've done through your day on your computer, including microphone, what what you said, uh, what you discussed in meeting, and uh, and then you can um, you can use AI to um, retrieve information or uh, like summarize uh, meetings or any, anything else you want to do and I want to show you how we build this so it's open source and it's written in Rust and I will show you um, like rough architecture so this is like um, this is like our audio pipeline, which is a bit complex. Uh, it's a lot more difficult to build uh, like a high quality, high tr uh, accuracy um, transcription locally than uh, running on the server because we have a lot of constraints in terms of resource usage. Uh, we need to use less than four gigabytes of memory and um and less than uh, 30 percent of your cpu um and um but today i want to show you um how i built uh this uh high speed uh, um frame streaming api and um so i, I started um by thinking like how people do uh, experience reality, uh, like a kind of like philosophical uh, approach, um, like from your sense when you walk in the street, uh, like the main sense you uh, on which we index all other senses is vision. So um, uh, let's say I go take coffee, I see like uh, um, people uh, buying coffee or uh, like. Uh, bread, whatever, and uh, and based on this, in my memory, I, I remember uh, I associate like the smell, um, so like other senses, and uh, as is like touch and uh, taste, and um, like I hear uh, someone uh, selling me like coffee, and uh, so vision is like is the main. Um, index in uh, in uh, other senses and so from this I I built um, uh, I built so uh, like a time a time series with uh, time and frame as the main index so the, the data data structure is um, it's like this you have time and uh, you have a like a vector of frames where uh, you have data and um, um, so that you know we can record uh, like different monitors so if you have two monitors or uh, um, you, you we need to um, to have like a colon that uh, indicates the device and other uh, uh, metadata because we so metadata are um, uh, for example um, like the text that uh, appear on your screen because we extract the text in real time and also like transcription from audio and the window for example this is uh, like the window here is um, the file name if I open another file, it would be uh, it would be this this window name, and app name. It's uh, so here uh, I mean cursor, so it would be cursor, and this uh, file path is like um, uh, where we store um, the, file, the recording because uh, we capture screenshot of the screen and encode it to MP4 on your disk. Um, yeah, it's it's a bit complex, but I, I will uh, sh 
uh, add more context. And uh, we also um, have like a list of like audio entries, uh, which is um, for each uh, audio device. Uh, you have um, the device name, if it's like uh, audio uh, input, sorry, like microphone or uh, output, like system audio uh, or like virtual device maybe. And same uh, like uh, we, we save uh, your um, your voice and, and like uh, any sound to, to MP4 files so it doesn't take much storage. And um, so how it works is that we um, we want to like, like as you can see um, like we like the constraints to build this is that you need to have um, you need to make it fast to load and without using load CPU like low CPU usage and um, and that's why um, what we are doing is uh, we um, we take all the the um, the MP4 files that we save that I will uh, I will show you now uh, like the recent one of the day and uh, we. Just sorting. I have like 200 gigabyte of. Uh, I have like, like three months, or four months of data, so my uh, UI is my, my finder is struggling. Um, yeah. Anyway, I have a bunch of MP4 files, and um, and when I. Um, what we do is that we take all the MP4 files of the day and we extract frames uh, with uh, FFmpeg, uh, which we save uh, on uh, a, like a cache directory on your computer. And so, so when the the user loads this timeline, it will not use a lot of CPU because it's already uh, ready. And uh, it will be like fast to to read, um, and we clean up like uh, the recent frames. Um, we clean up like daily, and this, like some feature uh, like as you can see, you can uh, uh, you can use AI on top of uh, of this. It's just like uh, just prompt prompt engineering mostly. Uh, like, um, like you can ask, uh, what did I do? And this is powered by uh, by Lama 3.2. Uh, so you can pick any model you want. You can also use OpenAI. Uh, so here I, you can see uh, I used. Um, I was working on like some language feature, and. Um, Yeah, so um, that's how we built this uh, high-speed video cache. And uh, if you want to, uh, if you want to to check out our code, it's on uh, GitHub.com/slash/midjar-ai/slash/screenpipe. And we are uh, where uh, so it's it's a paid. Um, we, we built an app that is uh, paid. You can also build it from source for free. Uh, but people that want to support us or that want to to save time uh, not building it themselves, they, uh, they just buy the app. And we invest all the money we get from this uh, in uh, bounties. So you can uh, help us make this product better 
and uh, support us. So we reinvest this money to make this product even better. And um, yeah, I would love any contribution. Just look at like, uh, uh, you can go here and click on uh, Bounty. And you can see all the issues that, are, uh, that have like a Bounty. Um, thanks. <laughs>